up, dudes and dudettes who like to watch people on the internet with their clothes on. But if you'd like to watch people on the internet without their clothes on, happily click onto one of those naughty websites. Or you could also go to chat roulette. It's scarring. Scarred for life, like Harry Potter, but that's another video that we're going to talk about. First off, I'd like to apologize on my last prediction in my last video. Have a look. My guess is it's going to be a five set match. Nadal is going to win. Yeah, he lost. I don't know who I'm apologizing to, but it was really funny because at the end of the match, Nadal said his I came in second place speech, so he was like, it was very good to be playing in the Wimbledon finals against Djokovic because he's a very good player and I'm very happy to be here because it is better than I talk like this because I can hear it on certain language. But because of tennis, I'm grateful for all the opportunity to speak a little Spanish so that I don't want to know what I'm going to say. That's how he spoke. And, well, that's when he started getting big and he was like, his Spanish was very thick. <laughs> his Spanish was very thick. And his English is a little better now, but I don't get why he was spending... 10 minutes saying, yes, I came second place, and I'd like to thank you guys a lot. Because Djokovic and his nose was up in the background going, dude, this is my moment. Rebecca Black's thinking about her moment. I want my moment. I am sidetracking. Let's get back to the video. You know what's been annoying me? Sydney's weather. Sydney's weather has literally, for the past week, been a block of gray and raining and not quite sure if it's gonna rain one day and maybe it won't maybe it will so you may or may not go out with an umbrella and get wet because you didn't bring one stupid me and this weather accompanied by an emotional state that i or other people may or may not be experiencing right now because they haven't seen harry potter equals food yeah definitely i could just just looking at the sign makes me want to eat food. But wow, I ate a lot. Like in one day, I ate, ate through like a whole stack of chicken, family sized Pringles, six, six chocolate bars, mind you, from Coles where prices are down. Because, well, A, they had 90 cents chocolate bars, so I bought Kit Kat cookies and cream, Kit Kat caramel, Aero, both in Aero bubbly in both the mint and the chocolate, a flake, and a timeout. Jeez. And then I had steak one night after I had all that chicken. And then in the movies, when I went, I had a whole bunch of pizza and a large frozen Coke. Fatty boom sticks. Yeah, that weather's not doing it for me. So hopefully the sun will come out soon, you know? I think enough kids were singing, rain, rain, go away, come again another day. And eventually it went away. But you know what did come out to play in my house? A freaking mouse. Now these things run like hell. They run real fast. Just pew. And so we got a little visitor and he's just scurrying around the house and my parents want to get rid of him. So they suggest they someone suggested that they buy this little electric plug in that plays this noise that the mouse hates and runs away from the source of the noise. So my loving parents decided to put it in their room, so obviously the mouse wouldn't be in their room. It'd be in my room, my sister's room, and the kitchen. Seriously, like, I think, oh, I, I just thinking about it, I was like, great. So instead, we tried another tactic. So now we've got that electrical thing, like, as well as this rat poison. Like, okay, mouse problem solved. <clears throat> One problem with that, it's going to die. And now what these don't tell us is where they're going to die. So now we're going to have a poison rat mouse running through the house, dying in god knows where, behind the TV, or on the floor, in the kitchen, where we can just throw it out, or in my cupboard, or under my bed, or under my desk. <laughs> and one day I'm going to be cleaning and vacuuming, and this mouse is going to get stuck halfway up, that I can go... <laughs> oh, it really grosses me out. Yeah. That's the Kenny Chronicles signing out. Don't forget to subscribe me, rate me, hate me, eat me. Comment me as well, and now follow me on Twitter.